As language learners, one of the toughest and most frustrating parts of the process is trying to break through that feeling of the intermediate plateau and continue to improve your language skills. And usually, there are two main problems that we face. The first is finding effective resources that will actually help you to continue to grow rather than just going round in circles. And secondly, figuring out where the hell to fit it into your days and how you can make it a consistent part of your life. Which is why audiobooks have actually become by far my favourite language learning resource. Let's go back a bit. About a year into my Spanish learning journey, I was consuming quite a lot of video content on YouTube and even starting to be able to enjoy some series. But after a while, I couldn't help but feel like I was stagnating, like I was repeating the same things. And whilst I was getting better at those things, I didn't really feel like I was advancing. It was at this point that I started to explore reading in a foreign language. Now, I actually made a whole video on how and why you should start reading in Spanish. But to summarise, the main difference that I noticed with reading a book versus versus watching a series, for example, was the comparative density of the language that I would be exposed to in the same amount of time. For example, if I spend an hour reading, I'm going to see and be exposed to a much larger quantity of words versus if I spent an hour watching a series. Because in a book, they have to explain and describe every little detail and every little element with words. Whereas the nature of visual entertainment means that a lot of information is communicated to us visually, and words aren't used to communicate, describe, or explain these things. And because of that difference, there's also generally a much wider range of vocabulary used in a book. Okay, cool, that's fine, but why audiobooks rather than just reading physical books? When I first started reading in Spanish, I started listening to the audiobook whilst I was reading the physical book. And the main reason for this was so that I could continue to improve my listening comprehension rather than just reading. And so that, of course, is a benefit of audiobooks. You can continue to work on your listening comprehension whilst being exposed to a larger amount of the language. But a big benefit of audiobooks that I think is usually overlooked is that often they can actually be easier to understand than other types of content, like a podcast for example, which would also be dense in language. And the reason for this is that audiobooks are performed, the words are a lot more clearly enunciated and projected. In a series you'll often have lots of characters mumbling or dropping sounds, but this won't typically happen in an audiobook. And this is actually one of the main things that makes audiobooks such a great resource in my opinion and the fact that you have these professional narrators and voice actors performing the content. The extra level of emotion and depth that they can add to the production not only helps you to stay focused but also helps you to comprehend more because the tone of voice actually adds an element of context to what's being said that wouldn't be there if you were just reading by yourself with a physical book. But actually, the main reason that I've said that audiobooks have become my favourite language learning resource is because on top of all the things that I've just talked about, all of this is portable. I can listen while while I'm getting ready, I can listen while I'm travelling somewhere, I can listen while I'm cooking. You see, the only real problem that I have with reading in physical form is that it requires me to sit down and actively focus on it. And of course that's necessary sometimes, but it's not realistic for me to be able to fit in the total amount of high quality exposure to the language that I want to achieve if I have to find a quiet comfy place to sit down and read every time and I can't do anything else while I'm doing that. So for me, audiobooks tick all the boxes. They expose you to a large amount of the language language and a huge range of vocabulary. You can find a huge range of level appropriate content. Remember, you can find graded readers and young adult novels in audiobook form as well. It's not just complicated adult literature. It's comprehensible and entertaining. You have the projection and the emotion of the voice actors and the general intrigue of trying to follow a story and figure out what's going to happen next. And finally, it's adaptable to lots of situations. You don't need to be sat glued to your computer screen all day or be sat in silence in a quiet room somewhere. You can be doing other things and still be learning and improving your language skills. But of course, one of the coolest things about language learning is that it's a very personal journey and everyone does it a little bit differently. So if you have a favourite language learning resource, I'd love to hear what it is. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video interesting and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hasta luego!